is the IT industry affecting the kind of people you're getting? I think there's a great value, and that's something within the institution what we need to do, is to make the university, the institution, a subversive environment where you actually unleash, where you unleash the possibility in that subversive environment for people to do what they want. Give everyone an engineering degree at birth and have them go to a university where they can then do what they want. You know, expose them to mathematics, to science, to arts, and so on and so forth. And there in that environment, while the bulk may become investment bankers or lawyers, you actually will find many potential investment bankers turning to mathematics or science. I don't think uh, the IT industry is drawing away people who would have otherwise gone to science. Uh, there are a very large number of people out there. Now, uh, institutions like the NCBS are very small institutions, and although the Indian Institute of Science appears large, it's still a very small institution by global standards. Indian institutions have now perfected an entrance system which appears to be more designed to keep people out rather than take them in. And uh, there are very large numbers of students who apply for admission, there are very large numbers of students who are turned away, and we are not able to understand why we feel that these students are so poorly trained. Uh, the problem actually lies a little bit earlier we are producing large numbers of graduates and postgraduates who appear to be poorly trained when they come for admission to the research institutions. And I think the reason for this must be addressed. Uh, we have people coming with poorer and poorer communication skills, poorer and poorer training in the disciplines in which they've specialized because the universities and colleges have not had teachers for very long. They have not recruited teachers. Some of the real problems on the ground are not discussed anywhere.